one. Hello everybody, my name is Dr Helen Wakeling and I am a research psychologist working at Her Majesty's Prison and Probation Service. And I'm Flora Fitzalan Howard, I'm a forensic psychologist working in the same organisation. Um, and we are very pleased to share with you today our short video abstract of the research project entitled Prison Staff Perceptions of Procedural Justice in English and Welsh Prisons, a Quantitative Study. So what is procedural justice? Well, when people believe the process of applying the law, how decisions are being made rather than what decisions are made, when they believe it's, it's fair, it influences their views and behaviour. So when we feel decisions about us are being uh, conducted and processes are being applied in a way that we believe is fair and just, we have greater confidence in authority. We see their authority as more legitimate. And as a result, we're more likely to accept and abide by decisions or rules of law. And this is uh, called procedural justice. There are four principles. The first is voice. So we need to feel that we have a chance to contribute, to ask questions, to have our story heard, to be seriously considered. The second is neutrality. So we need to see authority figures or organisations as being open and transparent, uh, unbiased and consistent. We need to understand how they've reached decisions or created rules or made changes. The third principle is trustworthy motives. So we need to believe that those authorities or organisations are being principled and sincere. They are genuinely trying to do what is right and have people's best interests at heart, rather than being motivated by hidden or ulterior motives. And finally, respect. We need to feel that our, we are being respected. We're being treated with courtesy and dignity. Our rights are being respected and protected that we are being collaborated with rather than controlled. Now, within the criminal justice system, there is a sizable body of literature supporting this theory uh, of the procedural justice is important. Quite a lot of this has historically come from the areas of policing, to some great degree in courts. Much more recently, the research has, has begun and expanded in prison settings. Most prison based procedural justice research has focused on prison residents and this has shown that, what, that these perceptions are related to um, greater misconduct or mental health outcomes and even re-offending outcomes after release. There's been far less research attention though given to prison staff perceptions of procedural justice. What does exist says that this is linked to things like stress and sickness absences, uh, job burnout, people's commitment to their work. Their, whether how supportive they are of rehabilitation, to their satisfaction with their work and life. Uh, now much of this research around staff perceptions of procedural justice comes from North America and Canada, so we don't yet know if these findings are generalised to prison staff in England and Wales, so that's what we wanted to do with this research study. Um, we used a survey which is routinely conducted in prisons and has been for many years called the Staff Quality of Life Survey. And we generated a procedural justice scale using 27 items from this larger questionnaire, um, which was shown to have good reliability and validity. And the scale included items which related to the four components of procedural justice. The data set we used included responses for over uh, 15,000 staff between 2012 and 2015. And this included almost every prison in England and Wales. And in addition to this survey, we were able to use official organisational data such as staff sickness absence rates. So what did we find? We found that significantly better perceptions of procedural justice um, were held amongst female staff, younger staff, those working in public rather than private prisons and staff working at more senior levels. Procedural justice perceptions also varied by time in job, with those who'd been imposed for less than one year um, having significantly better perceptions of procedural justice than all other groups, and perceptions worsened as time in post increased. We also found differences between the type of prisons our colleagues were working in. So those in open prisons um, had significantly better perceptions than most other prison types. But that said, even within types of prisons, such as locals, they still varied, suggesting there are individual differences between sites. We then wanted to know how procedural justice perceptions related to a number of other factors and we found that feeling treated in a more just way was significantly related to greater trust, to greater compassion and commitment towards prison residents, to greater positive attitude towards um, those in their care, to greater professional support and more support for rehabilitation rather than punishment 
for people in our care. Sickness rates and stress were also related, so those with more positive perceptions um, had lower levels of these as well. And finally, there was also a relationship between staff for procedural justice and resident procedural justice. So in other words, the more positively staff felt treated, the more positive too they were in their perceptions of those that they were working with. So together these findings provide good evidence of the significant relationship between procedural justice and staff outcomes for those working in prisons and also suggests that the findings from other countries of a similar nature are generalisable to our colleagues in England and Wales. So in terms of the implications of this, we uh, suggest that procedural justice should be considered by the organisation when trying to protect and support our staff wellbeing, but also in enhancing their commitment to the important work that they do. When it comes to our responsibility for the rehabilitation of people in prisons, the treatment of staff also seems to be important. When they are feeling treated fairly in the workplace, it seems to have a potentially positive knock-on effect for the people in our care. We need more research on procedural justice in prison and probation settings, but in particular what we need now, we believe, is to have research on how we actually improve perceptions and what impact that then has on outcomes. So thank you so much for listening. Um, so that was a very brief summary of the research. So if you are interested, please do read the full report. And as well as that, we have a sister paper um, which looks at procedural justice perceptions of um, prison residents which is published in Criminal Justice and Behaviour. So please do, please do take a look at that if you're interested. Thank you.